Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 49 reaction. Okay, the previous episode. Um, we tackle three more plants. Uh, the first one was which we left behind in the previous episode. Uh, that is like Lyserg versus I forgot that guy's name. Uh, and we see how the, like you know like the, they were fighting, but by the end of it, John had to interfere a little bit uh for you know Lyser to actually get uh enough time to come and counter so that was something like you know like we needed Jan to keep her uh Furyoku with her but she had to kind of move at that moment so after defeating that guy Jan had to stay behind and then we went to the next one which is the volcano plant with um mag magma or magna a uh, magna i think yeah that was his name uh and he is like you know the person who can snipe uh, with his owl and uh, here we again see um um ren getting into the fight and you know like uh, uh that fight also uh no in that fight we get to know about opacho's ability like you know, not completely but uh yo kind of uh thinks about it and he's like maybe that's what she does and it is true by the end of it, it it gets like you know like uh we get to know that opacho's ability is actually reading the mind kind of like how and uh <clears throat> with that um on and on the other side we kind of get anna like and you know like revealing to us what each and every uh are one of our of our friends what the furyoku uh, limit and how much they have and it's more or less the same however uh ren is the weakest which was something that i was not expecting um i i thought like yo would be weaker than at least one or two of them and it was true uh but the, the strongest is uh, like based on completely based on furyoku level the strongest is chokolov and it does make sense because he has abasan with him while uh, horohoro is the second one as far as i remember then comes yo then ren so that was interesting to see that and uh, yeah after the second plant we get to the oh and we also get to see rutherford here who is like like an alien type of person and how kind of converses with him and we get to the final plant the space or the galaxy one and then we get, go to the the throne where you uh, you know how comes in and how's going to i'm guessing like sit there and start uh, assimilating with the greater spirit and the final plant is the plant where that guy is um what's his name i don't remember the announcer guy and uh, yeah he, he seems quite strong and he actually took out um faust now i made a little prediction in the previous episode i i said that faust is a little bit too quiet and he's not even moving and stuff so i said that he's probably a fake faust let's see if that comes true i don't know i feel like, you know, like uh, the previous episode, I saw Faust was acting very weirdly because he's not moving, doing nothing at all. So it's probably a fake one. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm sure I'll get my answer here. But yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 49 of Shaman King. So I'll be putting subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, okay, let's see. Oh no, 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 he's, I, okay, never mind. I thought he's a fake Faust. <laughs> never mind. All right. Oh damn. Ah. Yeah, he's a healer. The subtitles are kind of weird at times, but it's okay. Ooh. Oh no.
Oh, oh. <laughs> wait. He's saying he wears sunglasses, but I guess uh, if someone wears sunglasses, especially during a fight, you wouldn't be able to see which direction they're going to attack or something. Like I, I know, like in you know, a lot of like you know fighters, they actually keep an attention on the opponent's eyes, like you know, kind of track it down and predict where they're going to hit. So that like you know, like wearing a sunglass defeats that completely, and you won't be able to do that. So, <laughs> maybe that's what he was meaning? I don't know. Alright, and another thing. <laughs> I was talking in the previous episode. I made so many theories. I'm like, oh, Faust is probably like a fake one. Or like, you know, like this is like a dummy or something. They're keeping it here and... We're going to get, like, you know, the original force is going to be revealed in this episode after he destroys the dummy. Turns out it was nothing like that. It was actually the original force. Never mind. <laughs> ah. is on the field yeah oh no what is that the theme song a fumbarian really What? What happened? What? Did he really make that at the spot? <laughs> the advertisement <laughs> in the middle of a battle. Oh lord. Oh my god, he's What the hell is Yeah, I, I hope John is able to. But, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess Faust... Helped us counter the patch song. That's like. <laughs> God. It's an Austrian pelican spirit. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh yeah, Rajim, that's his name. Wow. It's easy to love, but it's difficult to accept it. Accept it. I'm sure he'll come back, John. Wait, what?
呃。Oh. oh yeah, true. Like he he's now with. Her. Yeah. Broken soul. Very short. Okay, hopefully they're back. I'm I'm sure they'll be back. Oh my god, these two. Uh. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, interesting. I thought she gained the ability back when... But she never really... Okay. I thought he, she gained that ability back when... Uh, you know, the, the whole Chocolate incident. After that. Oh. Alright. Huh. All right. Oh my god, it's broken. How? Oh. Huh? Oh my god. Wow, he didn't even just Live that guy. Oh, my God. Yeah, the golden. Hey, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. So Okay. Ah. Oh yeah, gold is the final. Oh my god, look at that. Auto regeneration. Oh, it's a sister's love for Oh my god. Ah, they, 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 did, they, did such, they did such a mistake of coming here, like, oh my god. Ah. Oh, this is a plateau plant. Highland plant, okay. Oh, it's a farmer. Okay. Hmm. Alright, he just gets right into it. Okay, that's an interesting. Oh 
Oh, <laughs> you can just. All right, makes sense. <laughs> Doesn't the use of okay. <laughs> You're the one who saw him. Not by fighting. Oh my god. Wait, what the? What the? This house spirit of fire. Oh, they're here to collect the. Okay, okay, I'm like, what's, what are they doing? Acquired spirit of rain. Spirit of thunder. Of wind, of earth. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, he just oh my god he just gave it away hmm. yeah okay Memories can be used to restore the body. Oh, really? I was thinking about that. Like, how are they going to get the body back? But he's saying. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's true as well. Hmm. Yeah, true. Five hundred. Oh, okay. Most of everyone, how? Okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, he tried to do that. Damn. <laughs> the way she said that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, Manta is here. Okay. <laughs> hmm. None of them seem to be suffering right now.
Hmm. <laughs> 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 Prince is in the stories, huh? Oh wow, that's a really good way to put it. <laughs> uh. Is that why uh, the opening has like how in a princess dress? <laughs> uh. Yeah, he just like, oh, just take it. Guns like, oh my god. <laughs> it's like an alarm clock. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they just... <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> okay. Opa is just sleeping throughout. <laughs> I had a weird dream. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's that's the reason why in the opening. All right. Uh, you know the funny thing uh when this opening first came out, I'm like, "Wait a minute. Is that, who's that? Is that is that Yo's mom or is that uh, how how's mom?" And then I was like, "Wait a minute. Yo's and how's mom are the same." <laughs> I was like thinking all of this, then someone in the comment I think is like told me like, "Oh, this is like like a like a little joke or something." And I'm like, "All right." <laughs> uh. Wow, this episode was pretty chill. <laughs> like nothing major happened, I feel. Oh, but oh my god, a lot of people did die. Uh if you Yeah, if you look past that, yeah. Everything's pretty chill. And I was really surprised seeing that the spirit of fire was just how I was like, yeah. Go ahead. And <laughs> like I never thought that they're going to get spirit of fire because I thought like spirit of fire would be ignored and all the other spirits will be with them because you know um spirit of fire is with how and they wouldn't get spirit of fire by the end of it but there you go Oh, there's still something left. Okay, I was going to... Okay... Hmm... Okay... Walk... Hmm... Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh, fight him when not on. Okay, okay, okay.
living to die properly. <laughs> Where's Faust? Oh, okay, he's he's in his spirit form. Oh, here we go. Now we'll have to fight. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Oh! All right. Raging there. Whoa. Yeah. His, you know, his other self, which is filled with anger. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, that's where it ends. Okay, so wait a minute. In the end, I need to go back to that part again. Just a sec. They were talking about death. Just a sec. Okay, he says, we know, we know you have to die to become the Shaman King. Okay. How in his sleep of death, to become king is waiting for that time to come. Okay. No matter what happens, if you fight him, we're not gonna. Wait. So what is he saying? Is he saying that if we become, if I become a shaman king, I'll have to die? Is that what he's saying, or is he saying that if we fight, how we'll not get unscathed and we probably will die? I'm, I don't understand this part. Like he talks about both of it. At first he's like, yeah, to become a Shaman King means you die. So is he saying like, oh, if we win, like, you know, I'm going to die either way because if I become the Shaman King or if I uh, lose, if we lose, then we're also going to die. So inevitably we're going to die either way. Is that what he's trying to say? I think so. Because he's quite like, you know, sure that he's going to die by the end of it. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm. I'm sure I'll get my answers as we, you know, advance in the story. Okay, this episode. Um, it begins with Faust being impaled, and uh, <laughs> my theory goes down the drain. I'm like, yeah, Faust is probably a dummy or a fake Faust, but nah, that's not it. That's actual the, the actual Faust. <laughs> okay. So he's like, all right, so I can heal myself. He just heals himself. And he's like, all right, so we might not be able to resurrect people anymore. That's why, yeah, let like I'm going all out. Now I do think about why, you know, he went all out because by the end of it, Yo had to interfere. Um, but I think the reason why he went all out and the uh, benefit that came out of Faust's, uh, you know, like fighting, uh, with the uh, opponent is the Fumbari song where he was able to counter the patch song. I think that was what happened. You know, like that's why I feel like Yo was able to defeat um what's his name? Radim? No. Oh god. 
What's his name? I forgot. Was it Radium? Let me check. Oh my god. Let me let me you know what? Let me just bring up the names. Uh because yeah, it'll be very difficult to talk about them if I forget <laughs> their name. Alright, uh let me see. Uh Radim, there you go. Radim. Yep, that's the name. <coughs> okay, so yeah, Radim. So it would be like you know very difficult for you to fight Radim if the past song was still in effect. So I think that's what Foss did, didn't he? He used the Fumbari song or made it that way so that it can counter. Um yeah, and that's what came out out of the battle, you could say. So yeah, and as far as I can remember, I think Faust was the weakest one out of them, wasn't he? Yeah. Like, according to Furioku levels, like, he, he's a healer, so obviously his offensive power would be a lot lesser than the others. Um, so, yeah, he, he makes this, uh, like, you know, like, Fumbari uh, song, it's, uh, he says that it's going to nullify or counteract the patch song. <laughs> and it also works as a good advertisement. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. I just contrived it to counter the patch song. It's the official fun Fumbari Hot Springs advertisement song. All right, and he starts singing it, and like you know, like they're fighting. Uh, and yeah, by the end of it, obviously they're unsuccessful and they die, but. Uh, Faust is like, I'm happy because now I can actually be with Eliza. <coughs> and I was thinking at that moment, this moment, I was thinking like, how are they going to bring them back? Uh, first, the first thing that I was thinking was maybe Jan, you know, after like, you know, resting, maybe she's going to come back and like, you know, little by little, uh, resurrect all the people. Maybe that's what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, I was thinking of all these possibilities. But then I, like, you know, I think they answer our questions, like, I think Yo says that after we, like, you know, I've become a shaman king, I think it will be possible to bring them back. Um, something like that, he says, I think. I'll, I'll go to that part and talk about it then. So, okay, and now, like, you know, after, I guess, the patch, patch song was countered, uh, Yo quite easily defeats uh, Radim. And Radim falls into the water. And uh, he, you know, he, he talks about how he is a patch efficient and his duty is to protect the Shaman King. So he'll fight it up until the end. He uses his um, so the, the thing, uh, Platinum Sword, yeah, as an Australian pelican spirit. Pelicans catch fish by opening their huge mouth. And he uses that to attack uh, Yo, but Yo is able to go past that. And you know, like he hugs him, and he's like, "This part, this part is kind of an interesting, like, you know, thing that he says. Like, what is difficult? No, uh, what is that? Yeah, it's easy to love. What's difficult is accepting love. You, yeah, this is a really good uh, quote, you could say. Like, it's easy to love, but it's difficult to accept that love." Yeah, it, it is true, you know, think about it in a lot of like, you know, way like you can say as well, like, like at, at times it is easy to accept love, but at times it's difficult, but love is the easiest thing to do. While it's not always true in reverse, like, you know, it's not always easy to accept that love. For example, um, we could say like, you know, like, like someone has like some kind of a uh, what can I say like uh, like they don't trust people or something like that you know like they don't trust people maybe something in their past experience as like you know kind of scarred that person and he cannot trust people and if a genuinely good person comes in their life and they shower them with love you know that person like you know it's easy to shower other people with love but uh, but at the same time you know, no uh, you know what I feel like it depends like it's also not easy to love like if you think about it in that way like for certain people it's easy to love like people who are very um, broad-minded people who are you know very nice you could say uh, and uh, you know like people who are of genuine uh, 
uh, like, you know, heart and soul, who, who are really nice people, they can love very easily. But for people who are twisted and, you know, like, you know, like a kind of, what can I say? Like, yeah, I'm sure you can understand what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, who are not of that type of a pure soul or something like that. It's, I, I feel like it's also difficult to love for them as well. Because always, like, you know, they're in their head, it will always, like, you know, be, like, conflict. And, you know, like, they'll always try to uh, find something wrong. And something like, stuff like this, I'm trying to say, you know. Like, like for those people, it's difficult to love as well, I feel like. Uh, but, yeah, as I was saying, uh, like, to accept that love for that one person who probably got... Like, you know like some issues and uh who is like you know like probably some trauma or something you know like made them unable to accept or believe people it'll be difficult for them to accept that love like you know like but but i'm like you know if if they keep going i guess by the end of it they will be able to accept that love like if you keep trying keep trying to just yeah they they will come around and uh yeah 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 it, it it depends i guess you can say but the general um you know like thing that what you try to say is true it is easy to love but it's difficult to accept it all right so yeah they die both of them and uh, <laughs> ryu is like oh still died and ryu is like oh hello i'm <laughs> <laughs> I've died, but I'm still here. <laughs> now it's interesting to see, like you know, Faust is like, oh, I can be with Eliza now. I'm, I'm very happy, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So and okay, and here's what he says, like you know, like even if we die, like you know, uh, as long as the soul is alive. Here we go. Like Yopun said, to us, the only real death is the death of the soul. Yeah. A broken soul cannot pray for heavenly peace. Yeah, so that's when it all goes down. So you need to keep your soul intact. And then maybe everything could be reversible. All right, and then we go to, oh my God, we go to that, uh, to Red Sev and Serum. And here a few things kind of comes into light. First of all, Serum could talk from the beginning uh but he like you know she she didn't where is that part yeah i just didn't want to i saw some scary things okay so yeah like so that's one thing that comes to light i don't remember if that we got to know that before. i think this is the first time we get to know this doesn't doesn't we uh yeah i think so um and then after that they get in oh my god here's where it goes like and everything goes wrong they de destroy like they were like all right we're going to destroy the dome get in and defeat how and as soon as they do that how has already killed them in a matter of seconds and he was ready for it so <clears throat> yeah they, they realize that they both are dead they're in spirit form <sighs> and um another thing comes into light here where how says that your mother's spirit is actually in the golem and uh, yeah like and golva comes in and he she she's the final patch boss like you could say and she uses her oversoul to attack them but the golem was pretty strong and he was not like you know not actually going down and regenerating again and again so okay one thing it's an intimidating oversoul but simply crushing the golem won't eliminate it <sighs> one thing I'm, I'm a little bit confused after that we see uh serum kind of look a little bit pissed off the golem starts regenerating again okay how says auto regeneration it will keep regenerating as long as the pilot remains alive oh okay okay the love of a mother for her children okay so uh makes sense okay basically as long as the pilots are alive the golem will not stop that's what they were saying and that's why they kind of showed serum at that moment okay i understand now oh 
oh boy and then theorem you can say gets killed oh my god and yeah and he's like all right um red said you have a job to do now go and tell them like this happened and for you to come quickly and then we go to the highlands plant and uh, all right here we meet uh the patch efficient what's his name let me check just a sec <laughs> okay where's kalim kalim there you go um yeah and he he was uh you know in charge of hororo as far as i can yeah yeah i think so yeah so hororo's like all right uh let's get this over with he starts like he just goes ahead tries to fight him but um kalim easily very easily just you know stops him just whacks him away <laughs> and i think this is the first time we see Faust actually intrigate i guess obviously like you know Faust was never uh, in spirit form this is the first time we see Faust in spirit form so interesting to see that he could like you know like yo actually integrated with Faust or you know did something like that like <laughs> and since it was like you know he was integrating with him uh, Yo says that it doesn't use up much of the Furyoku. <laughs> That's interesting. And yeah, Kalim was like, alright, like you know, you guys are tired, you just have a rest. We'll resume this the next day. <laughs> and then they're just like, you know, like they patch the uh, Horo Horo up, give them food, and uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now we go to the gandharas and we can see them actually like you know trying to get the spirits they have been able to get all of them except the air earth one which is still pending and um, sati is there trying to get the earth spirit i think yeah so she was like a little bit more uh, you'll have to wait and after getting this we, we are going to uh, send this to you guys so we're almost there and i'm sure after getting the um spirits they're going to obviously going to get a lot more stronger okay red sub comes in and uh, he like tells everything he's like you know like like this happened like the serum and the golem are gone and yo says like it's all right okay don't lose hope here we go here's where the thing comes up you know about how they're going to regenerate them back the power of the shaman king might be able to do something you really think it'll work okay uh ren says it's not impossible as long as the soul lingers on its memories can be used to restore the body now, this is interesting i never thought this could happen i was i was i even said this before i think i said like even if they're able to bring the soul back what will they do about the body you know wouldn't the body you know get destroyed or like you know like maybe start rotting or something like something like that might happen so ren says like as long as the soul lingers on its memories can be used to restore the body okay interesting so he's saying like this so obviously the soul is like you know everything it, it also contains the memories so you can use those memories to restore the body back to when it was like you know okay I don't know how you're going to do that, but I guess it's everything can be done with Shaman King's power. But yeah, that's an interesting, like I've never heard of anything like this before. Like a lot of animes kind of like, you know, kind of deal with this, like, you know, resurrection thing I've seen. But always, like, you know, all the time the, the like, you know, there's like this thing uh, comes up where it's like, oh, we need to keep the body safe because if the body goes, like, you know, the soul will, like, you know, never come back. Something like that, you know, it always comes like that. I think this is the first anime which we, where we see like you know, like, you know Ren saying like oh we can restore the body as well for example like, i'm pretty sure you guys have seen um jojo's and uh slime you can in jojo's as well if you remember like the whole uh, jotaro thing with um you know when his the discs kind of come up they had to uh like, you know, preserve his body if his body goes like, you, know, you won't be able to bring back the soul similar thing with slime as well where uh, i don't know if this is a spoiler i'm, I'm pretty sure it's not a slime came out a long time ago <laughs> that season so i'm sure everyone knows um but still if you've not seen slime please skip this part uh when 
everybody dies in that like you know thing and like the, the souls get trapped you know the bodies needed to be kept safe you know and the souls were also needed to be kept safe otherwise they wouldn't be able to bring it back so all the time all in most of the animals that i've seen they always need to keep the body safe otherwise it wouldn't work something like that but i think this is the first one where i see them saying like oh the body can also be brought back from the soul's memories that's interesting okay and uh here he says like and even if the soul has been destroyed the gray spirit holds the memories of the entire planet okay so okay he's basically saying like even if the soul also gets destroyed we still might be able to bring them back because the great spirit actually has everything all the memories of the whole planet and each and every people in them so i guess it's true so yeah basically if you become the shaman king you can do anything you know if, if someone soul body everything gets destroyed you can still bring them back it's like it's like a, you, you could call like you know like it's like a backup uh save or something like that you know like like the great spirit has like everything just saved stored uh, like, uh, stored safely and even if something gets destroyed here even if you like you know if someone gets deleted you can bring it back from the <laughs> you know the backup source something like that if you think of it in that manner so it's, it's that simple but you have to become the shaman king for that and horror does say like it's it's you know like resurrection isn't something you could you should handle lightly uh, and yeah, like they bring up a few interesting points as well. Uh, Ryu is like, yeah, it's not still not her time. Like you know, you know, like she she's still young. And Lysok is like, it's not for us to judge what's good or bad. Yeah. Okay, and Yo says, and maybe we don't need the Great Spirit's help, as you all know. The five high spirits are incarnations of the great spirit and aggregates of souls. Okay. In other words, the souls of everyone how killed are inside the spirit of fire. So, so he's basically saying like the, the, the people who how killed, for example, uh, Serum died. You no, know, like Serum's soul is probably inside the spirit of fire. And the spirit of fire has been given to us. And like he, he, he was just like, oh yeah, take it. I was just gifted it. <laughs> like, I was really not. This is the one of the most, um, like you know, shocking part of this episode. I I really was not expecting him to just give Spirit of Fire away like that. But yeah, it, it makes sense so much because like, what's he going to do with the Spirit of Fire after this? Like, he's going to go into that deep sleep, like you know, that semi death situation. Like, even if Spirit of Fire was with him, like, you know, it wouldn't like you know matter much. So, like, you know, and, and after he becomes a shaman king, you know, like, fuses with the greater spirit. Yeah, like, like, he doesn't need the spirit of fire. Like, you know, like, because the spirit of fire is basically an aggregate of the great spirit. So, if you think of it in that way, he really did not need great, uh, like, in the spirit of fire after this. He needed the spirit of fire up until now because he needed that power to come here. Now that he's in the destination, he's like, yeah, I don't need him anymore. So, yeah, go ahead. You can have him. <laughs> interesting it's basically your enemy just handing you your his gun because he's like oh i wouldn't <laughs> i wouldn't be needing it anymore so you can use it <laughs> wow oh <laughs> okay so and here we go he's like how's probably doing this to provoke us but we won't take the bait so we won't lose our tempers and we'll never give up okay so, all right, and this this gets explained properly. Like I was reacting to it, I it, there was a little confusion in my head, but now I understand what what what's happening and what they're trying to do. Okay, we go to uh, the outer like you know world that is like on the surface where um um Mikihisa, I forgot his name for a second there. Mikihisa tried to jump and go to the uh, you know moon continent just diving underwater. But since it's impossible, when Anna talks with uh, the two spirits, the Tanuki and the uh, Kitsune, and uh, asks them about what's happening, and they're like, oh, they've secured three, so Jun can revive three guys. Okay. Now, how do we get them to Yo and the others? 
yeah okay month also comes and uh, all right and they're talking about how everything is going to be will will end tomorrow and this is the final battle uh, yeah and it talks about how none of them are suffering now life itself is a battle the harder you work for happiness the more unhappiness there is damn <laughs> that's that's so true oh my god that's so true uh, okay normally what is go off to fight oh this this part <laughs> this is an interesting part you know like the way anna actually explains it like his she's like normally warriors go off to fight the demon in order to save the princess but yo wants to save that demon i guess it's not surprising the princess in this story is how imprisoned by the demon of obsession what a great way to explain this <laughs> wow it's funny when you think of it like that uh is really just a stubborn beauty who's been behaving stupidly for the last thousand years. Yeah, how could you lo lose to a guy like that? Okay, and yeah, they were like, uh, okay, and then in back in Yo's team, um, they're like, all right, we're going to go to sleep now, and uh, you know, wake up tomorrow early, and. <laughs> everyone's just having the time of their life here <laughs> kalim is like oh everything's ready you know you guys ready to sleep and they're like all right let's go and they just go to sleep <laughs> uh, and okay manta had a weird dream of <laughs> how being a princess that that was <laughs> interesting oh princess how and yeah the opening it it's it makes so much sense now and after that, the after the end credit scene, we get a section that section where Amida Maru like you know and you wake up. They are like, all right, let's go to walk for a change of pace. And they're walking, and uh, Yo is like, yeah, there's not much time left. Amida Maru is like, what are you saying? There's still time left, like you know, like. And here, as I said, I kind of said this before. So here, Yo says that to become the Shaman King, you'll have to die, you know and uh you know like to fight that how you know like we might also die trying to do that so i'm guessing what yo is trying to say here is either way like you know uh, i'm going to die because if we win i'm trying i'll like you know he's going to become the shaman king and that means he he has to die for that and if they lose they're going to die either way so i think that's what he's meaning isn't he if i'm wrong let me know because that's that's what I was able to understand from what he was trying to say here. But okay, and uh, here is another part, which another quote which I really liked. He says that we are not fighting to prolong the inevitable. We're living to die properly. We're living to die properly. Wow. Yeah. Right, and all his teammates are like, alright, like don't don't you go ahead with like you know, leaving us. <laughs> We're also going to accompany you. And then they had a little breakfast. Kalim comes, Kalim is like, alright, let's go. Let's have our fight. And uh, yeah, they start fighting. Horo Horo fights him, but Kalim is like, why aren't you are using your full power? And then he calls him by his true name. Uh, Usui Horokyu and he gets mad and his inner thing comes out you know that inner anger that he always keeps suppressed and yeah now he's probably going to go all out so we'll see that in the next episode that's it that's the uh, that's episode number 40 49 I think yeah 49 that's episode number 49 for of Shaman King so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say Anything you want to let me know and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you guys next week with uh, the next episode of Shaman King. And uh, we're almost at the end. Uh, the next episode will be 50. And uh, I think like two or three more weeks we'll have to uh, like this, this will go. And after that it's going to end. Um, 
and the way they're uh, like you know covering the plants i feel like it's possible like them for them to have like at least one or two not two maybe one i think it will be one episode in the end to completely focus on how and yo and yeah before that i'm guess i'm guessing we'll have to go through the plants like this 49 so 50 51 these two episodes i'm guessing we're still going to go through the plants in 50 we're going to probably like you know do the other half of the plant 51 i'm guessing we're going to do the plants and then reach how and 52 will be completely focused on how and yo and you know the final battle or whatever i think that's how they're going to do it so yeah anyways that's it so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day